Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Human News. Today is July the 30th, 2021. I want to let everyone know in our community who are our trap watchers that today's video, we are going to give you all the update and wish, right? There's some things that we've been noticing on the chart. I wanted to let everyone know in our community. So I felt like today would be a pretty good time for us to explain what has been going on in the market and wish and as to where we expect the price to go. So if you guys want to join us, if you're not part of our community yet, you do that by liking the video, sharing the video, and also subscribing to our particular channel. All right. Now, one thing that we do here is we focus in on one individual who is our opponent. He is the criminal. He is the one that we need to be on the lookout for. And it is him right there on the bottom left side of my screen. That is called the trap. He traps us in losing positions and that's his whole purpose is to make sure that he wins and we always lose so we have to be on the lookout of him we got to be careful because he's out making trades doing transactions creating markets to put people in some very precarious situations to where they don't believe in the free markets to where they think that these markets are manipulated which even if it was even if it is it's still a good thing because if you can understand how the market really operates you understand that someone needs to control these prices and has to because without it these prices will be so erratic that no one will be able to trade no one will be able to get in and out of positions because those who are buyers are looking to buy at cheap prices and those who are sellers are looking to sell at high prices that's a massive gap you cannot create an efficient market and orderly market that way. So that is why we see price bars the way that we see them. It's because someone is in the midst creating these opportunities, which is good for us because it gives us the ability to see what's actually going on and to expect where price is going to go. All right. So check this out. Uh, July the 17th was the last time we did our video in wish and we told everyone that we was playing a weakness right and for the most part we only had like two opportunities to actually grab some small profit out of the market in wish one of them was on july the 27th and the first one was on july the 19th right and that would have garnered us at the low of those days around four and a half percent we haven't seen the price in wish go any lower so that means something okay and one thing that i wanted to show you okay let me get rid of this our last price prediction if we were to get out on the close of yesterday we'll be down around eight percent okay just want to show you all that so let me take this away because on that video on july the 17th we told you all that the market in wish was in a downtrend right on what day that we actually switched from going lower in price to trading sideways right we got to believe what the market is delivering we cannot uh, try to be blinded and try to think that there's something there when it's not right so i told you all that the market downtrend was in play and wish on what day did we break that we broke it on july the 20th on that day rather than you continue to be bearish or expecting weakness to occur in wish you should have switched over and said okay knock that out the way the market is no longer going down because we broke the trend so there's only two other options that you got on your table now one is that it can continue to trade sideways right we can continue to see wish trade sideways just like this or the market is going to continue to go higher those are the only two options now on the table and that's one thing i want everyone to do whenever they look at this information to say i really appreciate the trap right because he continues to give us information every day it is our problem the individual's problem on when they try to interpret what it means as to why they lose or you know you got people out there trying to place 15 indicators on that chart which even causes more confusion on, on, on top of trying to interpret what he conducts every day in the markets. That's one reason why we don't have indicators on our chart. So check this out. Since we now know 
that wish is no longer in a downtrend, we need to get rid of the line. Let's get rid of the confusion. The trend is no longer going down in wish. So now we can take this here and use it to where the market held support. So going forward, this is our support price in wish. Okay. We appreciate him giving us that information. It's right there around $9. Okay. Now, Bank of America is the institution that has a $12 price target in wish. Okay. $12. So from where we closed on yesterday to $12, that's about 20% movement to the upside. Okay. Are we there now? Are we on the ship to continue to see the price in which go higher? Let's see. So this is the two day time frame into the market in wish. Right now, there is selling going on. OK, I got to keep it real with our community members. I got to keep it real with the trap watchers, the ones who's on the lookout. Currently, on this last two day price bar, it indicates that someone still sold into the market. Like this particular market in which is not overly bullish. It is not extreme and it is not massive to the sense to where you can expect the market to give us a very swift movement to the upside. That is not here on the chart. Okay. This is the three day. So I like what's going on into the three day time frame though. Right? We've seen the market in which go lower. The next three day price bar, we saw it go higher. The next three day price bar is go lower and now we're seeing it go higher again. So what is going on into the market in which is actually the market trying to consume and buy up all of the selling that is currently on the table, right? That's that could be a long drawn out process, right? We can still see this market in which hold nine dollars at support and find restriction up here around $11 and come right back down for like weeks and months, right? But we have a pretty good firm area that the market appreciates $9. So I really wanted to pinpoint that to everyone who's interested in wish. This is the five day time frame, right? The last two five day price bars, which I'm going to include the current one, like I told you, there has been selling going on into the market in which we've been in a downtrend ever since the five day price bar of June 25th, 2021. The price has been going lower. But the difference now is that there's actually some buyers down here around nine dollars to ten dollar price. That is positive. But it doesn't mean that we're going to break out to the upside. So I just want everyone to remain calm and be relaxed. We're just at a stable point right now in which. OK, and you can pretty much see that on the weekly time frame as well. So even though I'm not overly bullish into the market in wish, even though I'm not expecting massive strength to push up the price in wish right now. Seeing how the market held support around nine dollars, we can play to the strength in wish. Right. So just like I told you, Bank of America has a price target of around twelve dollars, and I can actually see that considering where the market in wish acted as support back here during April, right? You guys can see it right here and I'm show it to you. So the market in wish came and held support around $12 in April. And that is precisely where Bank of America has their price target, right? So now am I'm telling you that the market in wish is going to go to $12 next week. No, like I told you, the market is going through the process of buying up whoever is selling their wish into the market. OK, but for us to hold nine dollars at support kind of lets us know that this process of buying up the selling that has to go through first. We got to get rid of whoever is selling their wish into the market. They got to get out the way before price goes higher. OK, and that is the current process that we're seeing in wish right now. OK. So, yeah, we're going to play the strength into the market in wish, but understand you have to be prepared to allow this market to go lower, which I will expect that to happen in wish. 
meaning the price can come back down to nine dollars and fifty cents even back down to nine dollars and five cents right but as long as this price doesn't break below nine dollars on weakness we already know that the market is still going through that process of buying up whoever is selling wish that is the process that is going on right now so we're going to play the strength to the market in wish i'm not going to expect that 12 dollars price target like bank of america but i will say our first area of tp would be right there around 11 dollars 25 cents okay and that will give us you know around 13 percent profitability now i'm going to take it up there around 12 dollars but $11.25 is the first area that we would come in and take some of that money off the table in Wish. And that's it. Just wanted to come through, uh, let you all see some things that we're noticing on the chart. Uh, the market actually has confirmed that $9 is that area of support. That's one thing I really wanted to do this video for. And that that downtrend that Wish was actually going through is now out the way. So we're going to either continue to trade sideways and then eventually go higher. Or even though it's slim, we can still see the market just shoot up like a rocket, even though I'm not expecting that to happen. All right, so that's it. This is where we're expecting the money to go. So now I want to know where do you all think the money for which is headed? Let us know. Make sure you maintain a profitability. And as always, trade different.